Monday, which is traditionally for cleaning my house and grocery shopping, I'm stopping by Savers because I had a thought while I was at the post office. I was gifted by my friend Jay um, for referring a good purchase to him, $100 just before Christmas. And he insisted I spend it on myself or to grow my business and he's He's a great support. He's another guy that owns uh, another antique store that's close to my shop and we bounce ideas off of each other all the time. So it was a very surprised and unnecessary and kind gesture and I'm going to use it to grow the business because I can't think of anything to spend it on myself and I've got this $100 bill sitting in my purse just begging to be spent on groceries or something boring. I'm gonna buy a Savers gift card and I'm going to allocate it for stuff. I'm gonna see what I can make from it. I'm not going to restrict myself from buying stuff for myself here because I love this store. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what I can turn $100 from Savers into. Let's find out. Hey, so I did pretty good in Savers. Right now I'm trying to multitask and get some dinners prepared for the week. So I'll talk to you whilst I chop onions and cry a bit. <clears throat> so I don't do most of my sourcing in thrift stores, so most of the things that are in the thrift store are not the things I have ready knowledge of in my brain, which is vintage and specifically vintage toys. I don't find them at thrift stores, I buy them through this store. Um, so I have to use my phone a lot to research stuff while I'm there. And that is why I don't videotape in the thrift stores. I have a nice camera. I should get into the habit of maybe using it. I got a nice laptop for my birthday. I should get into the habit of using it. But so in the interest, I think I said that already, so I'll repeat myself, of actually doing one of my resolutions, which is to make YouTube videos, uh, they are going to be weird and full of stuff that I don't know if you care about. I, it's January when everybody tries to diet, so I am, I need a new garbage pail. Um, trying to eat healthy. I've given myself six weeks because I have a friend who is eating clean for six weeks. And I'm not going to eat clean, but I'm going to diet my way. Which includes eating clean. I mean, I'm not eating dirty food. Look at this yesterday's makeup all over me. It's Monday. Um, anyway, so that's part of my life right now. So I'll share that with you. That I am prepping meals for the week so that when I come home and it's dinner time, I have my already made foods to eat. Uh, that's it. I'll show you my haul. Um, here's onions. Wow. I'll show you my haul. It's time for the haul. I don't um, have any enthusiasm over any of this. I was just looking back through it. My eyes are very glary. Mm -hmm. Anyway. This is what I got at Savers. I spent $22. Um, I did, I think, pretty okay. This stuff does not excite me, but I'm sure it was wise choices. So here we go, first up. This is good because it's totally new in the box. It's Yankee Candle. Uh, I know Yankee Candle's expensive, so I was intrigued. I was gonna put it back because it was $6, but it counted as Christmas stuff, so Savers was doing 75% off, so I bought it for $1.50, fine. I think one has sold for 20. It's really heavy though, so I don't know if that was a mistake. Oh great, it sounds like something's rolling around in there, hopefully it's not broken. Anyway, if it doesn't sell, I could uh, maybe use something like that in my life, whatever. This, <clears throat> For $1.99 was a Vera Bradley recipe book, and it's totally brand new, so that's nice. I know people like Vera Bradley. I think it's actually really cute, but for $1.99, I actually had a 20% off coupon too, so $1.60. Um, this, I think that the same one is listed right now for 18 plus shipping, so whatever. Just 
stuff to keep listing on my days off, I guess, just constantly to have new stuff for the store to spark interest in the store if that algorithm is to be believed at all. Um, just always be adding things to the store. This is the most exciting because this is the most um, themed to my my vibe on what I do. This is a little plush. Does he stand up? He does not stand. This is Veggie Tales uh, Beanie. He was surprising. I saw him and I was like, ooh, that's, I'm looking him up. And yeah, I think he sold for like 20 bucks before. So he was another $1.60. I bought him. I looked everywhere, I scoured all of the um, all of the plush section to see if there was any more from this movie because in lots they go, you can get up to like 60 bucks for a couple of them. Um, I bought these more for myself than for resale, but I figured if I could sell some of them, I'd keep the rest. Uh, it was $3, this is a bag with two dog harnesses in it. My dog keeps chewing through and ruining harnesses, and I just the other day went to Petco and spent $35 on one harness that he is going to chew through. So now I have extras. Um, yeah, he looks like he's a medium now, and he's going to be a large. So I'm keeping these. Next, another bag of puppy supplies. My dog is a boy. Not that boys can't wear pink, but these are all also small puppy size. Um, but it's a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't even look through it. I figured, I think it was, yeah, again, $2.99. So, dollar two forty. Um, yeah, I bought it because whatever. It's worth more than two forty. dollars We'll find out together, won't we? Uh, on the gravy train that is Yankee Candle. Now, I know Yankee Candle is probably always a good thing to buy because it's expensive. And I know that because I don't buy Yankee candles because they are expensive. I buy candles from AC Moore and the dollar store. Or I buy Yankee candles at um, thrift stores because I just buy first, find out that they're not really worth listing, and then I have Yankee candles, like a fancy person. So anyway, this is votives, bags of votives. I know that a long time ago you could like really mark up discontinued flavor smells but I don't know if that's the way uh, that works anymore. Some of these are not Yankee Candle. So I got three bags of votives to open up and maybe create lots of hopefully duplicate colors. Um, and I'll, I've seen, they don't go for much, but these were two bucks a bag. I figured it would be fun, whatever, experiment to see if these were worth buying. Uh, I might even just lock them all up and be like, hey, here's a bunch of Yankee candles for $15. Maybe they'll move them. Not gonna be a huge profit, but like it's slim pickings at thrift stores lately. I don't know about everywhere else, but it's hard to get excited about stuff. I do not look at clothing. I am not a clothing people. It just overwhelms me to even think about looking at clothing which is annoying to me because I'm walking into thrift stores and probably just walking away from so much potential stuff, but mm, I'm not there yet. I bought this bag of balls. That's nice. That's nice. Um, this was a dollar. So I bought it. Uh, my son has a vending machine in my store that he sells bouncy balls in. So I can just put these in there, but there are Simpsons ones in here, which is cool. I thought that was fun because uh, my store is named after a, a Simpsons reference and so is my oldest son. So Simpsons stuff, check. Let's see, Yankee Candles, Yankee Candles, Yankee Candles. This thing I bought, it's a Fisher Price Little People little play garage. I bought my niece a similar-ish thing like to this for Christmas and she seems to like it. So I might save that for her birthday. That was only $3. Yeah, it was $3.99, 20% off, $26.82, two, whatever, $3.20. Um, yeah, that's correct. Got this for the store. 
always very exciting to find things of this era there. I should have stayed a little longer because this was on the cart going out and I wonder what else they had that was, like this is me in a nutshell. I'm a Saved by the Bell girl. I, God, I loved that show. Anyway, I got that. It looks pretty good. It might be complete, it might not. It's only worth like 10 bucks, but it'll sell at the store. And that's it, that's everything I bought. Yeah, but this is exciting. I don't know, I don't know if it's exciting. But we'll see. I'll maybe do a little tally of what I expect to see realistically from this stuff and see if this little project where I spent one fifth of my budget um, for the project on today's trip and I will see. I don't know. It'll be a fun little, fun little challenge. Thanks. Bye.